What's up everyone, Wesker Sun 3 here today. We're going to start my career mode and I was kind of deciphering on who I wanted to use and I decided let's go ahead and use AC Milan because I do have a decent amount of money and have a great roster. So I went ahead and changed the seeds. You always want to change the seeds of the Euro League, the UEFA, whatever you want to call it. Um, because if you don't change it, it'll be a bunch of random terrible teams. You got to change it to get all the Barcelonas and the AC Milans in there. And I'm playing on professional so I can have fun and actually do the series. And then if I if it gets too easy for me, I'll bump it up to world class and then legendary eventually as well. And so you also want to make sure you uh, do the updated rosters. And I was de kind of deciding on a name uh, for my uh, manager. And we decided to go with Barack Obama. Because why not? Let's make change to AC Milan. Kind of, you know, kind of, you know, stupid. But anyway. <laughs> and so we decided to go with Barack Obama. He's obviously from the United States of America. Marka and uh, his skin tone. I decided to put brown. Yes, and we're going to. Uh, I need. I looked at my roster and I said, let's go ahead and get some better center backs because center backs we have aren't bad. But I want to get some young center backs that have great potential. And this guy right here, 18 years old in the league one, I believe he is. Zoom. I went and looked up on Foothead.com. You can check players with great potential. And he is potential. He's 74 right now. And he has potential to be a 86, I believe, overall. And I went ahead and picked him up for nine million dollars. I could probably, I might have even overpaid, but I wanted to give him a lot because I knew in the long run he would be worth way more than nine million dollars. So it was worth it at the, it would be worth it in the long run. And you'll see later in the series why he is. Um, but I've, I've skipped on ahead. I accept his contract and pay him five percent clean sheet bonus, just as a little incentive. I, I, I'm trying to get the clean sheets a lot this, uh, this season, and. Um, Looking through, I needed another midfielder because Kaka is hurt for two weeks. And so Adrian, he is a very young Brazilian who has four-star skill, four-star weak foot. And I think he has potential to be like 84, 85 around there somewhere. I can't remember exactly. I'll find it again. And I think I paid him about the same as I did Zuma. So actually $8 million, so a million less. And you'll see later why he is worth it as well. He is such a good player. And he's only a 70 right now. And just imagine when he gets better. Um, <clears throat> so I'm looking at my roster. Uh, just I was going to change some things up on my roster. Uh, because Kaka obviously hurt. And um, we're going to play one game here. To show you guys my first game with this team. With AC Milan. And then my second friend will be in the next episode. But take you through my team management. And going to squad here, and this is in live com. I'm just waiting on it to catch up. And I was going through it to make sure I put my two acquisitions into the roster there, putting Adrian to the center midfield. I'm going to go ahead and start him because I want to get him some experience early on. And I know some of my more experienced players, like Nigel De Young, will not be happy. Oh, why am I not playing? Well, because we just got a beast from Brazil. That's why you're not playing. And I was kind of just like, eh, should I put him up top? No, I'll go ahead and put him in the center midfield. I'm looking at um, El Sharawi, who is also only 20 years old, and he has a great potential as well. And so I decided to put Adrian right there next to Montalivo and um, Nostrege. How did he pronounce the name? Uh, I, I can't remember how to pronounce the other guy's name. I just pronounced that really bad. I know that much. And we go on against our first game against Viva Real. And I didn't know if it was going to be tough or not. I can't remember who Viva Real had. Uh, I think that their team is a little bit depleted this year. And they made some transfers. I remember a few years ago they had a pretty decent team. So early on in the game, uh, Mario Bellatelli with a PK opportunity. I actually I don't know if that even was a PK to be honest. I, I think that might have been clean, but let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a PK without a doubt. It's PK, and I was like, no, Rabinho, get out of here. We're going to give that to Mario Bellatelli because Mario Bellatelli needs to be happy. I need to be scoring goals, with Bellatelli, because we all know in real life he can get a little bit testy. With some of his things. Look at that shot. Oh, Bella. Oh, look at El Shirawi putting that in there to Montalivo. With a little cheeky finish there. And moving on to the next goal. Actually, I scored quite a few goals in this first game. A little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. But trust me, it will get more difficult as the uh, season goes on and we get to the Serie A league games. And then um, El Shirawi is still in the ball from the defender. Look at that finish. Easy for El Shirawi to put that into the back of the net. Bellatelli, great ball to Niang. I came, put him off the bench, or took him off the bench uh, in for Rabinho later in the game. Niang is only 17 years old from France. He has the potential to be very good also in career mode because he's got four star skill, four star weak foot, and he's very fast. And once you upgrade a shot, but look at Adrian here. Look at this crack. And I'm going to um, show you a great replay here as well from this shot. Look at this. 
Uh, look at the shot though, guys. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Gets the ball and there's straight up top corner. Doesn't even touch the defender. Just amazing, amazing shot. But that is the game, guys. If you like the video, leave a like down below. We're going to be doing career mode a lot more. Wise Guys 23 signing out. See you guys next time.